Coffee is one of the most popular beverages in the world, consumed by millions of people every day. It is a complex and fascinating beverage that is not just about taste, but also about the science behind it. The chemistry of coffee is a subject of great interest to scientists and coffee lovers alike, and it plays a major role in determining the taste and aroma of this beloved beverage. The story of coffee begins with the coffee bean, which is actually the seed of a fruit known as the coffee cherry. These seeds are typically harvested from plants grown in tropical regions around the world, including South America, Africa, and Asia. The coffee bean is a complex mixture of carbohydrates, lipids, nitrogenous compounds, and water, which give it its unique flavor and aroma. When coffee beans are roasted, their chemical composition changes dramatically. The heat of the roasting process causes the carbohydrates in the beans to break down into simple sugars, which then react with amino acids to produce a wide range of flavorful and aromatic compounds. These compounds include furans, pyrazines, and aldehydes, which give coffee its distinctive taste and smell. The longer the beans are roasted, the darker they become, and the more complex their flavor becomes. The process of brewing coffee involves extracting the soluble compounds from the roasted beans using hot water. This extraction process is influenced by several factors, including the temperature of the water, the pressure of the extraction, and the size of the coffee grounds. When water is added to ground coffee, it dissolves and extracts a range of compounds, including caffeine, organic acids, and a range of flavor and aroma compounds. One of the most important chemical reactions in coffee is the Maillard reaction, which occurs when amino acids and sugars in the coffee bean react at high temperatures, creating new compounds that contribute to the unique flavor and aroma of coffee. The Maillard reaction is responsible for the complex caramel and nutty flavors that we associate with coffee. The Maillard reaction is a chemical reaction that occurs when amino acids and reducing sugars are heated together. This reaction results in the formation of hundreds of different flavor and aroma compounds, including furans, pyrazines, and diacetyl, which are responsible for the unique flavor and aroma of coffee. In addition to producing flavor and aroma compounds, the Maillard reaction also causes the coffee beans to darken in color. During the roasting process, the temperature of the coffee beans is carefully controlled to ensure that the Maillard reaction occurs without burning the beans. The longer the beans are roasted, the more complex and intense their flavor becomes, as more and more flavor compounds are produced. Once the beans are roasted, they can be brewed in a variety of different ways to extract the flavor and aroma compounds. One popular method is drip brewing, where hot water is poured over a bed of coffee grounds and the brewed coffee drips into a carafe or pot. Drip brewing is a relatively simple and affordable method of brewing coffee that is popular in households around the world. Another popular brewing method is French press brewing, where coffee grounds are steeped in hot water for several minutes before being pressed through a filter. French press brewing is a popular method for coffee aficionados who want to extract the full flavor and aroma of the beans, as it allows the coffee to steep for a longer period of time than drip brewing. Espresso brewing is another popular method that uses high pressure to extract the flavor and aroma compounds from finely ground coffee beans. Espresso brewing involves forcing hot water through a compact puck of coffee grounds using a high-pressure espresso machine. This method results in a concentrated and intense coffee flavor that is popular in coffee shops and cafes around the world. Cold brew coffee is another popular method that involves steeping coffee grounds in cold water for several hours to extract the flavor and aroma compounds. This method results in a smooth and less acidic coffee flavor that is popular among coffee lovers who prefer a milder taste. In addition to the brewing method, other factors such as the water temperature, coffee to water ratio, and grind size can also affect the final flavor and aroma of the coffee. For example, a finer grind size and higher water temperature will result in a stronger and more intense coffee flavor, while a coarser grind size and lower water temperature will result in a milder and less intense coffee flavor. Coffee also has a rich cultural history. Coffee has played an important role in social, religious, and artistic movements throughout history. For example, coffee houses were important gathering places for intellectuals during the Age of Enlightenment in Europe, while coffee played a significant role in the social and political movements of the Arab Spring in the Middle East. Today, coffee culture continues to thrive around the world, with coffee shops and cafes serving as hubs of social interaction and creativity.
The chemistry of coffee is a subject of great interest to coffee lovers, scientists, and industry professionals alike, and there is still much to be learned about this complex and fascinating beverage. By understanding the chemistry of coffee, we can better appreciate and enjoy this beloved beverage, and continue to explore the many ways in which it impacts our lives and culture. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.